Cleo! Hi, Ren! Hi! Uh, <coughs> Never uh, mind! Just, just avoid... <coughs> Bye! Just <laughs> passing through, are we? Maybe. Okay. Um, how are you doing? I'm good. Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the interbubs, and welcome to episode four of this third life hardcore SMP with me, the Wren, the Diggity, the Dog. It is another Friday, my friends, which means another session here on the Third Life server. And oh my goodness, am I excited about getting going today, guys. Got so many plans cooking in my brain for the rest of the series. Of course, last episode, or last session, should I say, we established ourselves here on this little mountaintop and uh, we built a business called Rain Chanting. We got pretty much everybody enchanted on the server, which is amazing. We recruited Martin as our marketing manager. He's running around the server with bad omen and a flock of uh, phantoms following him around, intimidating people to become customers of our enchanting business. We also cracked a couple of deals with the village people that live over there, uh, although it looks like the village might be disbanded at this point in time. Just came across Etho who said that they might be giving up on the village, the village over there, so I don't really know what's going on on the server today. Everybody's got their own plans apparently, and uh, well, I suppose a lot of the people on the server have been influenced by you amazing viewers. Guys, I just want to say a big shout out to all of you Third Life fans out there who have been enjoying the content from all of the amazing creators on this server. Thank you guys so very much for coming out in full force with all your love across everybody's videos. I can tell you the group is extremely excited and uh, every single one of us has been super pumped to get onto the server this Friday and record a little bit more for you. Okay, so the plan for today's session is very simple, guys. I would like to establish some dominance on the server. And the way that we're going to do that is by building an absolutely epic capital city on top of this mountain area over here. We're going to put walls up, we're going to put watchtowers up, and when anybody comes across this place from this side of the server, they're going to see a fortress over here. They're going to think, oh my goodness, Ren a dog and his posse, they mean business, baby. That's going to be plan number one. Now, plan number two, guys, is to get filthy rich or as rich as possible here on the server i would like to go on a bit of a resourcing resource collecting mission to kick things off today guys i think if we can get a bunch of resources in our belly we can get a bunch of storage going uh, we can really show the server that we have everything we're loaded and that if they want to survive in third life they need to ally up with the mountain people. Although we are going to need a proper name for this city, this capital of Rendog, uh, Rentopia, if you will. You guys need to help me out, okay? Please come up with a name for our capital city here on top of the mountain. I will be checking the comments of this episode. I'll choose the best name and we shall name our capital after one of you guys. It could be anything. It could be, I don't know, Phantom Peaks. It could be Mount Phantom. It could be Ren Dog Mountain. I don't know, whatever. You guys come up with a sweet name. I will name the place and uh, we can start establishing some visual dominance on the server. We want everybody out there to know that this is the place to be. This is the place to come and live. If you're looking for safety and sanctuary, Ren Dog's got you, baby. Now, as we very clearly witnessed in the last session on the Third Life server, guys, the people on the server are very prone to, how does one say, uh, shenanigans. I'm actually kind of worried about our stuff, especially our very important stuff. So I'm thinking to kick things off, we need to make a bit of a safe over here, right? We need to put, find a little spot here where we can store all of the sort of expensive stuff that we've got, especially with regards to sugarcane and leather so that we can make books. One of our goals is to upgrade our enchanting facility too, right? If we got the best enchanting facility on the server, you know that people are going to want to ally with us. Oh, and by the way, I saw in the comments in the last episode, guys, I know I'm an idiot. I was wearing a helmet pretty much most of last session. We're not supposed to be wearing helmets, guys, so that we can see each other's faces. So you know what? There go the helmets. They'll despawn over there. Everybody can stop shouting at me now, okay? Jeez. That's all of our valuables now stored away, which is brilliant. And uh, I think next up, I'd like to go and explore the surrounding area here, guys. I think it might be quite good for us to find some animals. Uh, if we can get some more animals over here, that would be really good, especially cows. Uh, I don't know if there's any cows still alive in this area, though. I think they've all been mutilated by the third lifers in the early game. But I'm going to do my best, see if I can find some cows. And uh, in the meantime, get some sugarcane going. And then I reckon we go 
find some resources out there. Let's go find some more iron. Let's go find some more coal, some more diamonds potentially. Just any sort of resource that is going to make us a little bit richer on the server and start to establish our mountain capital as the place to live on this server. And I don't know, hopefully we can entice a couple of other server members to come and live with us here on the mountaintop. Cleo! Hi, Ren! Hi! Uh, never uh, mind! Just, just avoid... Uh, bye! Just passing through, are we? Maybe. Okay. Um, how you doing? I'm good. Uh, your your chest plate was very much admired that that I that I uh, that I enchanted here. Yeah, I know. Uh, where is uh, it? Did it break? N no, I may have swapped it for scar for the opportunity of some dark oak logs. Ah, and then he didn't give me any. So um. What, so what's what's the llama? What what what's this uh, all the about? The llama is mine. I found it in an open box. Oh, you did. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, um, it looks a lot like uh, Green's, uh, well, Scar's Llama. Oh, it honest. does? But it's not Scar's Llama, though. But it's not Scar's Llama, no. It's, it's okay. very much my Llama. So. Okay. I've seen nothing. I've, 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 my mouth is sealed. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I have no idea what's happening here. I've, I've seen nothing. I saw you. I didn't see a Llama. Okay? Excellent. That's, that, yeah. thank you very much. It's night time. I... It was, this has been but a dream. Excellent. You're, you, you were always my favorite, Ren. <laughs> Well, looks like Zombie Cleo's up to no good, my friends. There might have been a bit of uh, llama thievery that's just occurred on the server. Oh, you do love to see it. I mean, that if that llama is stolen, that means there's somebody out there that might need some help getting the llama back. And guess who has knowledge of where the llama's gone? Oh, it's me. It's the Ren Diggity Dog, baby. Yes. Oh, yes. Things are starting to cook up already on the server, it looks like it, guys. Oh, jeez, I just trampled my crop edges. All right, it's a new day on the Second Life server, guys. The sun is up and there is no time to waste over here. Let's go and see what we can find. Uh, in particular, I would love to discover some more resources, some of the important stuff. Coal's going to be one of them. I think if we could get a bunch of coal inside of our capital city, uh, it's just going to help to make us that much more powerful here on the server, right? So I think we're basically going to spend the next hour or so just collecting as much resources back here as we can. I mean, maybe we'll find some caves, some cave systems and whatnot. And in particular, this might be a mountain biome where um, emeralds might spawn. Oh, there's a chicken. There's a chicken up here and he pooped out an egg, which is great. Uh, if we can get one more chicken then we can start some chicken breeding. Do we get lucky with that one? Nope. Okay. Well, there's a chicken here. There might be another chicken friend around here somewhere. Oh, there's pigs over there. Oh, there's a couple of sheep here too, dudes. Excellent. Okay, so let's get some sheep going. We'll have the we'll have the wheat in the, in the one hand, the seed in the other, and we can take our new animal friends all the way back to our mountain capital city. Uh, guys, have you figured out a name for our city yet? Please, get thinking. Let me know in the comments. We need a sweet name for our city because we've just found our very first citizens. Although they are not human. Uh, but, you know, they're still citizens, my dudes. This server's made me so paranoid, dudes. Usually I wouldn't worry about my animals, but uh, right now I'm exceptionally worried about them. You'd never know what might happen here on the server. Uh, I suppose what we probably need to do is just bury the sheep in a hole, probably. Sheeps, you go down there. Good stuff. I think they'll be fine. We can cover them up, right? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. They need to go down one more block. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm very, very sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just... Oh! Mistakes have been made. Uh, yo, Frank, dude, you get your butt down here. I would very much like for you to just sit on the hopper, if you will, okay? That that would be very kind of you. Just sit on the hopper. Uh, come this way, Frankie. Very good, very good. No, a little bit more. Frankie, dude, you need to come a bit this way. Uh, Frank, bro. Oh, Frank, you, you're an idiot. Okay, there we go. Frank's fine. Frank's fine. He's gonna start pooping eggs. Nice! We got chickens and one sheep. Uh... This has not been a great start to the session. Oh, isn't that cute, my dudes? Our little farmstead is looking pretty cool over there, isn't it? Doing very well, man. It's flourishing, it looks like it. I mean, you love to see it. And uh, speaking of flourishing, just got myself safely over to this cave system here. I think it's about time to do a bit of resource collecting over here, guys. Let's go as far as we can into these caves. And I'm mostly after the good stuff, namely iron, coal, gold, lapis lazuli, of course, for enchanting. 
And uh, I also would like to collect a whole bunch of cobblestone too. I want to make our walls out of cobblestone uh, so that we can get a nice strong fortress look going for our uh, capital city here on the mountainside. And um, well, the more cobblestone that we can get, the better, right? Oh, that was close. That was really, really close. And I'm starting to get a bit nervous about this little, uh, this little plan here, guys. I'm not sure this was the best idea in the world. I've also come with no water buckets of any kind, which is probably a terrible idea. And, um, yeah, I started to feel like potentially pushing my luck here where I shouldn't be doing that. But you know what? It's okay. Once we get enough iron to be able to make a couple of anvils, I think it's probably time to head home. Uh, we're approaching sort of half a stack of iron here, which is good. Well, where there's lava, there is sometimes diamonds. So this is a pretty decent little spot here. Oh, geez. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. That almost ended. Oh, my sainted aunt dudes. My heart almost imploded there. I sandwiched myself between a creeper and two zombies, and that probably should have gone much worse than it did. Um, yeah. It might be time to start heading home, guys. Well, it's not diamonds, but it is emeralds. While we're at level 11 and have a reasonably empty inventory, guys, I would like to do a bit of diamond scouting here. And uh, we're basically just going to do this old school style, right? Let's just make a big tunnel, do a bit of branch mining. In the meantime, this is going to collect for us a bunch of uh, cobblestone, which we're going to be able to use to build our walls over at our fortress. And, uh, well, we also might get lucky and run into some diamonds. So, ooh, and we could run into some lava too. Diamonds, baby! Nice! Well, I've only been at this for about five minutes, and we've come across some shiny blue rocks. You yeah, already love to see it, guys. That is, what, a total of five beautiful diamonds. Amazing. Green also just let us know we're one hour in, guys, so actually, it's about time for us to start heading back to the surface. Remember, we've only got three hours a week to record, so if I spend most of the time underground, I'm gonna be losing out on potential time to build up the fortress over on the mountainside, so... I need to get up there as soon as possible. I guess we're just going to staircase up, you know, professional Minecraft style. Collect some cobblestone on the way up. And um, yeah, hopefully nothing's burnt down over there at Rain Chanting. And thank goodness we hid all of our stuff under our bed. Because, yeah, anything could have happened while we've been on here. We've been away from home for an hour, my dudes. I'm just hoping that nothing has burnt down or nothing terrible has happened. All right, we've just breached into the overworld, guys. I have no idea where we are right now. Uh, and this is kind of stressing me out. It is night time. We've emerged at the worst possible time. Although, look at what we just discovered. Oh my goodness. Dudes, it's a dark oak wood tree. It's a couple of dark oak wood trees right on the very edge of this area here. 18 dark oak wood saplings in total, guys. Wow, wow, wow. What a stroke of luck that was. I, I have no idea where we are on the server right now. I'm kind of terrified, though. Uh, but it looks like some sort of shenanigans are kicking off, my dudes. Martin causing all sorts of chaos. And look where we are, actually. We're right near Enchanting. Those dark oak wood trees were right on the edge there. We got super lucky with that. And, uh, well, hopefully we can find Etho now. Although, it does seem to be some sort of chaos going on maybe over at the village. Looks like Martin might have triggered our bad omen card. And, um, well, it might be RIP time for the village. All right, guys, back home safe and sound with a ton of resources and the dark oakwood saplings. I'm going to keep four of them on me in case we find Etho. I want to go see what's happening over at the village there. It sounds like our marketing manager might be causing some chaos. And, uh, well, we might need to help out with the raid. All right, onward to the village people, my dudes. This might be a great opportunity to get on their good side. If we can help defend against this raid, even though we were the kind of the ones that started it. It was our marketing manager who started it, to be honest. But... We might be able to help out here, and if we do a good job, we might be able to get the village people on our side. Oh, there does seem to be a bunch of chaos here. It is, it is indeed Martin. Dudes! Guys! Hello. Hi. Uh, I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, boss. It wasn't me. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm sure okay, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I promise. I oh. promise. I was I was stood there teasing um, the time I had 1 minute 30 on it, and the other one's here. Ren? There's Zito. another one. There's I heard another... the battle call. Yeah. I've, I've come to help. I've come to fight. No, it's, we're done. We're done. We've, there's the only been, uh, there's yeah, one remaining, evolved. and he's in a hole where he will stay. Okay. 
Okay. He's a uh, nest hole over here. You can see the. Did you see that random dirt pillar? A pillar. Yeah. Do not. Oh. Do not. Do, do not unearth that okay, dirt what pillar. What happened? Okay. What happened? It's Timmy. We're here to me. help. It was We're here me. to help. I it was you. I, I stood at the threshold and Martin, I had one who, had the, who had the bad omen on them? I had it, but so then was, it was you. No, I was stood on the edge of town. There was one minute thirty <laughs> left, and then when it ran out, I was going to run in and be like, "Ha ha, tricked you all," and then Scott pushed me in. Oh, the what? actual the actual footage will show Martin go. Wait, how close can I get? What's the thing to bring up chunks? Okay, I think this is as close as I can get. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then I stopped. And then I punched punch him, him, and then he was like, "No, do it again. Punched. Do it again. I, I was punched. Dazed, I was concussed. <laughs> I was dazed and concussed. I didn't know what was going on. You were dazed and concussed. I, I got and he pushed me over the edge. <laughs> it got the adrenaline going, the blood pumping for everyone, but no so, one was harmed. So it's most importantly, round. though, there's, there's oh yeah, we're no never going to kill. We're never we're never going to kill the other person. We're going to here and down to where this yeah, somebody's gonna kill him. Do anything. Yeah, that's gonna be the no, thing, Ethan. The question is, is who? Who's gonna do it? Ethan, I've spotted oh, yeah, some, I heard you guys something had a interesting out there. I, I see a What's dark that? oak wood tree being grown and ungrown. Is is that your dark oak wood tree? It is not mine. Um, uh, they have repopulated the server a little bit. Oh, they have. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, there was a leak apparently. Oh, there was a leak. Well, Do you uh, realize there's something about this village? Because look at look at how many people are over here. This village I know, just like, it's, it's just like a magnet. It's like a magnet, really is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ren, I have something for you. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're legend. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I want to come by later and enchant some stuff. Okay, you're welcome to. You're welcome to. Cool, thanks, dude. Um, <laughs> Eva, dude. Yes. Come over here. You guys go make deals. Okay. Come over here. I do have an idea, Ren. If, oh, oh, you if do. you're up for some shenanigans. Oh, I'm definitely up for shenanigans. Let's, let, let's, what, what's happened? Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Just pretend you didn't see this. Okay. I'm it's not, not entirely sure what's going on with the saplings. It's not a hidden cache. But look what I found. You got some? Yeah. I got some. Uh, so. Have you got, got some? some too? I oh, you got everybody some too. has them now, actually. Oh, okay. I don't know where they came from, but apparently there was a, another spot. Right. So they used to be like the most sought after thing on the server. Now they're just like nothing. Okay. So I'm thinking of two business ideas. One of them is like uh -huh. we go around and pick up torches that people leave behind. Ooh. Okay. Around their bases and yeah. then sell them back to them. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> And then maybe charge a membership fee, to, to, you know, so that way we don't do it anymore. Yep, Torch Inc. All right, all right. That's one idea. Another idea is there's a desert with a bunch of cactuses. Nobody's Ooh. claiming them just yet. Cactus domination. Yeah. Monopoly, monopolization. I, both of these, these uh, ideas are genius. I love them. Shall I see you over there at Pride Rock or whatever they're calling it? I mean, sure, yeah. You want to meet over there in a, in a yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. I mean... Dude, okay, you, I'm gonna grab some watch food the Lion King. I mean, jeez, how old are these people, man? Pride Rock. What is the lame name for a base, dude? Gee, I had to get them to explain it to me because I didn't quite understand. <laughs> oh man! All right, well that sounds great, Ethan. I'll see you in a bit. Well, guys, it looks like chaos has been diverted over here. Uh, do not kill signs on the one remaining raider. Uh, we're gonna be meeting Etho over at Pride Rock in a bit for some shenanigans. <laughs> want to check what's going on over here, though, because, there. um, There's like yeah, a thousand one plus six zombies. Hi, guys. A thousand and one plus six. Hi, Ren. Hi, what's up, what's up, what's up guys? Ren. How's it going? Good. Building a castle. Building a castle. Yo, be double low. Yes? You have not yet been re-enchanted, my friend. I got this axe. That's, okay, that's been re-enchanted. Good. Well, if you need re-enchanting services, I'm just up on the mountain over there, okay? So, I've heard about it, and yeah. Ren, Ren, mm -hmm. Ren. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for bookshelves. Yeah, okay. that's going to be a right. problem. There's uh, no cows. They've all been eaten. Oh, no, but, there, but there are villagers. There yeah. are villagers, yes. There are maybe slim animal pickings, yeah. Maybe strike a deal with the village over there to get some leather bookshelves going on. And, and, and if you do need reeds, yeah. I want to show you something right oh. over here. Oh, you got something cooking? Yeah. Ooh, I nice. planted two reeds and... Um, <laughs> There's four that you could grab off the top of that if you need. It could be a good start. Thanks, Pete. That's very cute. Oh, can I can I take them? Yeah, yeah please do. Oh, Not the two ones. bottom ones. Yeah. The there ones. you go. Okay, yeah, you can come that's... and chart. You can come and chart whenever you want, B Dubs. Okay. All right. You tell me when those bookshelves are done. I'm a level thirty or bust kind of guy. <laughs> Yo, Martin. Bro. Hello. What's what sort of carnage has been going on over there, man? Nothing. Honestly, nothing, boss. I didn't do a single thing. Yeah. It was fine. Sorry, I'm just making another portal because... Uh, you are. 
literally what happened was i <laughs> at the time i started to show that it was about to come to the end of its lifespan uh -huh. so i was just basically lurking around trying to stress people out actually not planning to go you know ahead with it all and um and then basically scott pushed me towards it there was literally about 90 seconds left on the counter and then yeah. he pushed me into the threshold oh that's that's scott we got to be worried about that scott i'm telling you yeah man. If there's anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. that we should be worried about it's scott okay oh absolutely you know? yeah yeah i agree it, 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 dangerous dangerous man i, I yeah, just start, you know i'm just starting to get a bit worried about like leaving because i realize like all of our stuff is has been in the open in a chest right outside the door um, yeah very surprised it hasn't been pilfered yet to be honest but um yeah do you have a, do you have a bunch of iron i was hoping to restore my uh my durability before going in I do. There is some iron in the safe. Um, if you want to go, you, you can go ahead and smelt it and whatnot. I'm, I'm yes. currently off on a mission to meet Etho over at uh, Pride Rock. I mean, who calls oh. a base Pride Rock, dude? Jeez. I know. They, if you see so it, it's less Pride Rock and it's more like a melted birthday cake with like seven, <laughs> yeah. 700 candles on it. Like, I don't know whose that is. I don't yeah, think even exactly. the Queen's quite that old just yeah. yet. Well, Ethan and I got plans uh, with Pride Rock, so I'm about to head over there. So, but you're welcome to uh, to smelt down the iron. I I just come back from a massive uh, mining session. Gotcha. So, right over here is our secret ah, stash. There's a whole see. bunch of good stuff down there. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's Let's saplings the and stuff down there too. So, you know. Okay. This is good. Yeah. This is looking good down here. So this is where all the good stuff is. I've also moved the enchanting table down here too because yeah, uh, you never know. You never know what could happen on the server. Oh, yeah, wait, is there one out here? Oh, there's Might not. Maybe they'll problem. think we've closed up shop then if, if they come over and don't see the enchantment table. That's a good point. Maybe I should make a sign. Um, so, yeah, what what, we, what I've realized is we don't really know what's going on on the other side of the map over at Pride Rock. So we're off to do a bit of a scout mission, see what uh, what those fools are up to on that side of the server. So from what I know, basically, we've shattered Grian's reality that um, he's the only person with Dark Oak saplings on the server. <laughs> like, we, we've shattered that dream for him. So I think he's probably going to be quite the shell of a man now. I'm not really sure what he's going to do with the rest of his time on the server. So um, that's good. Other than that, I don't really know what they're up to. I think they want to try and take a dominion over the entire desert. So maybe get some sneaky uh, bits of sand on your way out just so you've got... A little bit and just to stick it to the man a little bit you know yep 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 sounds good to me so that that's what i do take a shovel get, get, get a stack full just obviously out of line of sight of them right okay uh i'm off good luck in the nether dude um Thanks so much yeah hopefully you won't die try get blaze rods if you can yeah. that'd be great <laughs> uh maybe three wither skulls too oh oh <laughs> new level of chaos you didn't hear it from me okay <laughs> All right, so we're on our way to Pride Rock, guys, to meet up with Etho and come up with some new shenanigans here on the server. I think we're going to call it here for this first episode, though. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, guys, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're enjoying Third Life, please consider subscribing to my channel. Guys, we will see you in episode two, where who knows what sort of shenanigans we're going to get up with, get up to with Etho, but it should be great fun. So see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.